We're talking about uh, the church, the virtual church, and how um, we're beginning to develop our thinking around all of that theologically and, and so on. Are you aware of what's happening in some of the other churches, you know, and, and you know, in the Orthodox tradition, for example? How would they view the kind of thinking, you know, that, that you're putting forward? Um, obviously, the churches that have given some thought to this, and not many churches have given a lot of thought to it. You're just beginning. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's good. That's good. And you take a um, a church just such as the Orthodox Church, at the moment where most of its heartlands, cultural heartlands, historical heartlands, are still just only on the edge of the digital age, um, but it's coming, uh, um, that would be very strange for them. But I think certainly churches in Northwest Europe, North America, um, are all beginning to, to wonder how these means of communication actually can be seen as a gift of God. Um, and, uh, and, and shouldn't be just dismissed as that's not real, that's not proper. So, so um, I, I certainly think there'll be a varied response from different churches and different theologians. Um, but uh, I think there's a certain openness to, to exploring where we're going. And certainly some of the um, universities are beginning to yeah. uh, engage around this. You know, yeah. Is this something that you welcome? Very much, very much. Um, I, I, I think uh, the more research one can do and people can actually sort of get a body of research as to how people react, how they engage, what happens afterwards. Um, um, I mean, for example, one of the issues that missiological studies in, say, Britain, which I'm well aware of, Bob, um, is what I call the revolving door syndrome. People who you think that new disciples are being made actually in a consumer age, people are just moving from one church to another, mm -hmm. and that, that's, that yes. you know, and it has, the big house churches have a, yeah. Yeah, a lot of concern about that, and yeah. they're very open about yeah. it, and they discuss the very, yeah. and we have a bit of that in the Church of England too. Yeah. Um, now, I'd be interested to know whether some of those who become involved in, in digital church, uh, or virtual church, iChurch, whatever it is, um, uh, actually sort of stick it out and it becomes a, an important part of their spirituality, their discipleship. Or whether actually they do it for a few years, and then then there's another fad coming along. Now, I'm not saying it is the case, but I think it's good to have some uh, unbiased academic research on, yes. on all these things. Very yeah. important. Very yeah. important. Yeah. yeah.